Hey. Still with us? Damn. Welcome yeah. back. Taylor. Yeah. Do you know what's happening to you? Am I dreaming? Well, let's say you are. Why not just go with it, right? After all, you can always wake up. December 12th, 2054, 7.30 a.m. We're on board a private commuter train headed to the Zurich headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Our uh, cargo, prototype for the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. At its core, specialized AI software that's capable of rewriting itself in order to interface with any other system in the world. State-of-the-art stuff back in the day. It'd go on to revolutionize a broad range of military and civilian applications. At least, it would have if the train had reached its destination. At 7.31 a.m., a terrorist group detonated an explosive device on board this train. The incident okay. sent back our robotics program several years. You're here to stop it. This I mean, isn't real. It can't be. What is happening to me? Right now, right now, you're in a medically induced coma being prepped for surgery. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface, or DNI. I've got one, too. That's how I'm able to communicate with you. Your DNI is what connects your mind with your new body and the larger world around you. We're connected. All of this is a simulation inside our minds. And you got a long way to go. Hi all, and welcome back to our Black Ops 3 <laughs> campaign. Eleven thirty a.m. December eleventh, twenty fifty-four. Zerk security forces receive an anonymous tip, giving them the location of a hideout the terrorists are using. Unfortunately, the ZSF underestimated the firepower these assholes were packing. They got caught with their pants down. And they <laughs> took it hard. Yeah, apparently. Come, train go boom. You remember Diaz? I think so. Gonna help get you up to speed on some of the cool new shit you can do. Communication, brother. We all gotta be in sync. Yo, Taylor, you're a fucking dick. He didn't hear shit. If I wanna talk to you, the DNI transmits on a closed channel. I don't even have to think about it. But, uh, just so you know, if you ever think about calling Taylor a dick for real, brother, he's gonna mess you up worse than those robots. All right, let's go see if you can do this without ending up with Swiss cheese like those poor bastards. Okay, weapon hot. Break the floor with that. Enemy's ahead! Uh.
Flanking left. There's never just one route. High, low, left, right. Different paths to the different advantages. I can provide combat critical info to help you better read the battlefield. Switch it to tactical mode. Oh. Like opening your eyes for the first time, right? All right, use your enhanced mobility. It may take a little getting used to, but your confidence will soon grow. Try it for yourself. I got a hundred says you can do it. Not bad, newbie. Not bad. Track mode will highlight inbound threats such as rockets and grenades. You see flashing red. Oh damn! Oh, so that's my health. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> In Windows uh, uh, window mode, I can't see it.
attack mode info is synced across the team. One of us sees something, we all see it. Even through cover. Ah, damn it. Apparently, also, I have a timer, which I didn't know of. DNI doesn't just help us communicate with each other. It allows us to interact with a variety of computer systems, including pretty much all the basic drone units. <clears throat> now, bipeds, sophisticated ground units, those are a whole lot trickier, brother. Those sons of bitches got a damn hive mind. You try to process and control all that, your brain is toast. But these? These fuckers are easy. Go ahead. Back in. Let's we'll see what's on the other side of this wall. Fits like a glove, right? Now somewhere through there is a generator. Take it out and that door should open. Now they're ahead, and I could choo choose any one of these drones. Grab 
fresh ammo whenever you see an ammo crate. Last thing you want is to be in a fight with no bullets. Hell yeah. One right over here somewhere. I'm behind, behind there. Okay, I can't see how the heck to get out of it. Oh, F. Okay, cool. Your cyber abilities don't come for free. Takes a little time to recharge. Keep an eye on your hut. That's the S. Then you just hit F to get out of it. The faction's hideout is just ahead. Once inside, interface with the central console. Pull any data you can. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just take a second. Take a deep breath in and tell me what happened. I was back in Ethiopia. The grunts, I, I lived it all again. What's happening to me? Shit. You know how your senses can trigger vivid memories? Make you think of sounds, sights, words from songs. Make you think of stuff you haven't thought of in years. But D and I can make that a lot more visceral. Little glitches on your optics, little whispers in your ear. This shit happens. The doctor can straighten it out. Oh. You just need to recalibrate your meds. Trust me, you're gonna be fine. So what now? Oh, well, right now? You're gonna interface with that console. As soon as you plug in, you'll be able to extract and process the information in a heartbeat. Really? Got it. They had a man on the inside, at Coalescence. He would have been able to supply them with everything they needed to bypass the security on the train. The botched assault, man, it took six hours for the ZSF to get that information. Outcome? Train go boom. Took you just six minutes. Yeah, it would have been five. If you hadn't freaked out when you saw those robots. <laughs> so what happens now? Now we go find the son of a bitch. Ooh. Okay.
Tipped off by his terrorist pals. The mole was ready for him. He had heavy-duty combat grunts with him. Once again, the Zerk security force got their asses handed to him. Outcome! Train go boom. We lost him. He slipped away. You remember Specialist Sarah Hall? She's gonna walk you through the next part. Trust her, do exactly what she says. I trained her myself. She's an intelligence expert from back when that actually meant something. Yeah. Before DNI, you had to read books. You can see it's a little bit uh, me, Taylor made me read a lot uh, lackey and stuff like that. It Some knowledge is jitters a little bit. A little. Appreciate it. And that takes time. Time is something we don't always have. Okay, new blood. It from happens. This point uh, on, the simulation deviates from actual events. Not that it's going to feel any less real. Use your imagination. Okay. Sending his location to your HUD. Come on now, pick up the trail. Keep going. I still have line of sight. He's running scared, not sitting behind a computer. He could only be controlling them if he's got a DNI too. Point one, new blood. I'll give you that. Son of a bitch is still moving. Use that billboard to get over the maglev train. Let me get in for fuck's sake. so well, huh? I reckon our suspect has about 15 seconds left before he shakes hands with the Grim Reaper. You can't let that happen. Not before you get the information we need. I don't think he's in any condition to talk. He doesn't have to. He has a DNI. Buried beneath layers of security protocols, the subject's DNI records cam footage of the user's past experiences. In extreme circumstances, it is possible to extract that information by force. You'll be able to push deep into the subject's memories, their thoughts, even their subconscious. You could learn everything we need to know about the terrorist plans. I'm sensing a butt coming up somewhere. <laughs> you should know. Not only will this procedure be deeply traumatic for the subject, but the associated subconscious interference will leave him brain dead dead believe yeah. me this is a bad way to go he's a dead man anyway besides he's a fucking terrorist A few minutes ago, you knew nothing. What do you know now? I know where they are. 
They're using the old train tunnel to plan their attack. Hmm. But you just learned that your DNI took the ZSF weeks to uncover. What do you think I'm gonna say next? Outcome. Train go boom. <laughs> Good to know you can make tough decisions when you have to. I think it's time we moved on. Okay, and with that, I'd like to say thank you all so very much for watching, and as always, catch on the flip side.